Let's take a look at some of the various other improvements introduced in Cubase 11. On the Windows platform, we'll have support for variable high DPI scaling. So if you wanted to run 125, 150, or 175%. For plugins that don't have high DPI scaling, there's an auto scale function. On the Mac platform, Cubase will now take advantage of the Metal framework for accelerated graphics. Some of the windows have been updated for a more contemporary look and for high DPI support, such as our studio setup and the audio connections window. A new preference has been added called for usage logging. So if you find different scenarios that could lead to system instabilities, this when activated could keep a log of what was happening directly before that system instability for diagnostic purposes to resolve the issue. There are lots of new sound sets that are included. So if we wanna to go to our media and go to our loop content, we could look at Bloom, which will be different vocal samples. If we wanted to go to our dance floor tech house, We could also just go directly to Hard Knocks. Going to Lo-Fi Dreams. More kind of 80s synth sounds with night calls. And cinematic soundscapes from Robert Dudzik. When starting a project in Cubase, the file management has also been changed slightly. So when you do a new project, the default state will be for prompt for project location. So the user will be able to define their project folders where all the audio files will be recorded into. Sometimes working between different zones in a divided track list where we have tracks that are anchored to the top or the bottom can be confusing as to which is currently active. We can see this outline where we see a solid and a dotted line. So area with the solid line indicates that that is the area that's selected and working and in focus. And one with a dotted line indicated that it's out of focus. So if I was doing editing, I could see quickly if I click in my upper track list that that is in focus and we see the dotted line here indicating that's out of focus. So just a small indication to make that more distinct. When working with different track versions, we wanted to simplify this process because often we may see different track version names that are also included with the name of the audio file itself. So there's now a function where we could choose to hide the track version names or to show the track version names by clicking on the little drop down menu directly on the right hand side. When doing lots of different editing tasks, you may want to quickly chop and do edits on different audio files. So let's say if we have uh, some like a stacked background vocals here and I wanted to do an edit on this range. So I'm going to select that range hit shift plus X. And now as we do that, those functions now become selected and I could adjust like the volume envelope for all those sections without having to manually select them. The markers have also been updated with some new functions. So I'll change my marker color 
And when we right click in the markers, we could choose to show the markers from the active marker track or all marker tracks kind of through the entire project. So I'll just say from the active marker track, and we can see that this yellow line will be included directly here throughout the entire project. And if I'm doing this in uh, a MIDI editor, I could also just double click. And within the MIDI editor, we could see those same marker lines just kind of throughout the project that so we could have those markers visible within our MIDI editors as well. So you could see how a lot of these small improvements can really enhance your workflow within Cubase 11.